Hey guys, Drudder here, January the 31st, 2012. Here is the daily chart in silver. We continue this upward trend. Um, looks like we're push, trying to push through 34 currently. Um, pretty good looking chart since that last dip down to 26 and a quarter a few weeks back. Here's the last one year in silver. On the left there, that's one, two, three dips down to 26 and a quarter. It hasn't dropped below 26 and a quarter for more than a year. That's interesting to note. Just as interesting is this daily chart in gold over the last year. Um, exactly one year ago we started out down there at about 1300. Plateaued for a bit at 14. Went up to 19 briefly some more peaks in the uh, 17 and 18s and now we're sitting at about 17 and a half look at that chart not bad and as you can see gold was developing what it looked like to be a downtrend uh, let's see if we can get a, a line going here hmm gold appears to have broken that trend what do we have here the silver polar bear just out today from the Royal Canadian Mint, their 20 for 20 program continues. The first one was the uh, had a series of maple leaves on it. The next one was the canoe. Actually, I have one handy right there. Silver canoe. And this one, I think it's the nicest so far, actually. Beautiful artwork. Never seen a polar bear myself. And I've been a Canadian for, well, pretty much my whole life. So, um, hmm. But nevertheless, apparently there are polar bears in Canada, and it made it onto a coin. So, uh, as you know, these coins are not bullion. Well, it's 99.99% silver, but if you're looking for silver bullion, this is not for you. This is for people who um, like coins, and uh, there is no drawback to it, as it costs you $20, and you can spend it anywhere you want for $20. It is legal tender. Um, it's just like taking a $20 rectangle made of paper and turning it into a $20 coin made of pure silver. Uh, which would you rather have? I'd rather have the silver myself. If I'm going to be stacking currency, I would rather stack it in this form rather than paper form. Um, but remember, you can only get three per credit card or per household or whatever it is. And it's only available in Canada and the U.S. The total mintage, again, uh, is the same as last time. 250,000. I believe the first one was 100,000 only, so those ones are a bit more rare. Um, these ones are doing a quarter million of them. Um, really nice looking coin. My, myself, I've ordered three, and uh, my brother is ordering three and probably going to give me two of them. So I will have a few extras down the road, but uh, not a heck of a lot. Um, I recommend if you have a credit card, or I think they might take debit and stuff too, if you have the ability to get these, um, you probably should, and uh, if worse comes to worse, you can always just spend it right back into the economy if you feel like it, or you can hang on to it, or probably just sell it on eBay for 30, 35 bucks. Um, the promo code, I'll put it down below as well, and the link is Vancouver Space 30, and that'll get you free shipping and no tax on this thing. There's no tax on the coin anyways, but they tax you on the shipping, so you get uh, the free shipping, and then that takes away that, that little tax fee as well. And uh, all you pay is 24 for each coin, so you can get up to three, up to $60 worth. And uh, I think it's a really good idea and really nice coins. I hope they continue to do this series. They're quite nice. If you see a code right here, then that is the code for the US to get free shipping. But if I can't find one for that, then you won't see anything appear there. If you know the code um, for the US and I don't have it up there yet, then please put it in the comment box down below or send me a private message. I got to meet a friend of mine called Dan, and uh, you may know him as Y Gold and Silver here on YouTube. Uh, you may also know him as Mike Maloney's cameraman. This is one top-notch human. Uh, I really enjoyed getting to meet him, and I'm showing you this coin right now because it's a coin that he traded to me uh, about six months ago. And it's, uh, this is the New Zealand Fern. Really nice coin. Um, actually, it doesn't have any face value, so I guess you'd call it a round. 
but it is 9999 nine silver and really nice. So I want to thank Dan for meeting me here in Vancouver. He was in town briefly and uh, I greatly enjoyed talking to him. And uh, he had lots of good stories about Mike Maloney. All good, don't worry Mike. And uh, I saw lots of really good clips from the upcoming movie. Mike Maloney's second big movie about gold and silver. And I think it's called something like uh, Myths of Money, I believe. Gold and Silver, The Myths of Money, something like that. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what he said it was called. And that's coming out in the next few months. I'm really excited. I saw some clips of it, like I said, and wow. It looks like it's even better than the first one. Really, really good stuff. Um, these guys are doing excellent, excellent work. So kudos to Mike Maloney and congrats to Dan. He's got some amazing stories. And um, I met up with him and a couple other Vancouver silver bugs here and went out for drinks and snacks. And um, he's going to be in town again soon, I believe. So I hope to meet up with him again then. And um, yeah, like I said, really good guy and lots of good stories. He's living an incredible life right now, filming for Mike Maloney all over the world. And wow, uh, awesome, awesome stories. Well, that's it for today, guys. Just a quick one. Uh, a little money shot at the end here. Oh, yeah. Oh, what the heck's that?